Greetings and salutations everyone and welcome back to Frostpunk Stütze. And if you want me to butcher the number two in your native tongue, then um, just leave a comment down below. <laughs> in the last episode we lost, um, or rather depleted, our last two coal deposits. And now um, there's no more coal in... New London. Um, we do still have uh, 250 units of coal coming in regularly from our abandoned mine outpost, but um, there's only 224,000 coal units left in there. So yeah, we definitely need to get this dreadnought online ASAP and um, yeah, for this reason, we have sent 3,000 of our own people towards the Dreadnought in order to colonize it and um, extract all the oil we can get in order to um, fuel our own city with it. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, this still takes some time. Um, does it even say how much longer we have to wait? No. No, but um, this this uh, bar slowly fills up. So once it fill, uh, once it's filled, we can get going, I guess. So, but um, yeah, let's um, demolish this, get some resources back, at least, and um, oh yeah, right, we surveyed the graveyard. So what do we have here? Imperial Freighter, the Old Empire, the wreck of a mighty freighter marked with the colors of the Old Empire. It is the only wreck we see facing away from and not towards the coast. It seems to have collided with another vessel and partially sunk, but fortunately enough remains above the surface to be salvaged. An outpost here could increase our supply by 200 materials until its deposit of 2,440,000 materials is depleted? Uh, yes please. Um, that's a no-brainer. That's an absolute no-brainer. But, um, why can't we go through here? Huh. Oh well, we'll send the materials to the Dreadnought. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. Um, that should take care of all the Dreadnought's material needs, I guess. And maybe we can transfer even materials? Um, yeah, we must be able to, because we need to transfer the oil from the Dreadnought to New London, so... I hope we, we're able to transfer materials as well. Oh well, we'll see. What's this? The Royal Navy. We located a wrecked ship lodged on its side encased in a massive block of ice, HMS Atlanta, barely legible on the aft starboard hull. We're unable to get inside, but we found a jacked hole into the engine room. It was full of coal and not much else. That's good. That's how much coal do we get? requires five frostland teams we got none right now bugger um the place made our scouts quite uneasy we noticed that our compasses were behaving erratically in the vicinity of the rack probably best not to linger hmm what what does affect compasses apart from magnets does has radiation something to do with that or no no i don't think so Huh. Interesting. Well, um, we'll come back later once we've got enough um, people. Actually, we could... This increases our heat demand, though. And we only have 5,685 coal units left. In our minuscule... 
stock. So, yeah, this will be quite interesting. Um, by the way, we do have the option to um, lower the threat level somehow, right? Um, I remember reading something about this, so maybe let's look into this as well. So that we can scout other areas. Um, was it scouts had? Yeah, I, I believe it was, right? Exploration time decreased. Territory threat level is decreased. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm. So the New Londoners and the Faith Keepers already adore us. They they absolutely love us. So maybe promise the Frostlanders to. Um, well, we don't need to promise them. We just tell them we do this in their name. Oh, wait. How are we looking law-wise? Hmm. Food additives. Mm hmm. Maybe another time. Hmm. Paid essentials, support to quarantine, society. What can we... What can, kind of law can we lay down? I mean, the guard and forces, yeah. How are we looking crime-wise? We have no crime. Good. That's very good. We have squalor, minor. Hmm. <laughs> Guided voting. Hmm. Let's see what we can negotiate here with the Frostlanders. Let's see what you. Advanced bio waste, hothouse. Weather adjusted shifts. To protect worker health, workplaces must adapt working hours to weather conditions. Mm hmm. Production efficiency is slightly decreased, yeah. Not bad. Salvaging factory. Mm hmm. Huh. Well, I'm. I'm. This is not really. Hmm. I was hoping for someone wanting to. How about New Londoners? But you don't want to. Mm, yeah. You probably want the normal scouts headquarters, right? I mean, it slightly decreases exploration time. But the survivalist headquarters decreases exploration time. Not just slightly, but it decreases it. So, hmm. Oh, well, let's just uh, research it. Once the research is done... Um, They'll hopefully be happy. Okay, let her roll. Let's let her roll. Um, <laughs> so, ha the heat demand. We do, we do have... Okay, heat demand doesn't actually increase. So, where do we have... Housing districts with heat demand like this one here. Let's, yeah, let's go like so. Actually increase it here. And here. So let's try to lower our heat demand to make um, the coal last as long as possible. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
So housing districts are as low as we can get them, heat demand wise. No. This we can do. So now we have a shelter surplus and we have lowered our heat demand from or our consumption, coal consumption, from 233 to 193. So that's good. That's a start. Let's put it this way. Mm, look at that. We have a huge material surplus, which is great. Don't get me wrong. But maybe... Like so... Don't have any heat demand there. Heat demand here. Let's lower that heat demand. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're down to minus 175. Which is great, but I doubt we can get any lower. Apart from maybe... What is this? Excessive fertilization. Push fertilizer use far beyond normal prescribed levels to quickly boost crop yields. Food production efficiency is extremely increased. Disease is significantly increased. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. So emergency shifts and excessive fertilization. I didn't notice that before. So, but um, let's uh, keep on lowering that heat demand. So, minus 155. Okay, if I lower it any further... But we can lower it here, in the goods production. Yeah, let's lower it to this level. And this gives us the option because um, few materials are getting um, turned into goods. Therefore, we need fewer materials, right? Huh. But we, we are as low as we can get heat consumption wise so yeah um, from minus 233 to minus 115 and now let's see how long the 5076 coal units will last us um yeah let's see let's speed up a little okay um the coal mine has been demolished. Oh, fuel stockpile hub. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I mean, should we keep that fuel stockpile hub? We don't really have a use for it right now. So let's demolish it, get some resources back. Bugger. How are we looking here? Come on, guys. Finish that thing. Okay, all deposits discovered. Okay, good, 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 good. Well then, let's, um, let's go here. Look at this. So, we need to frost break here probably, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Let's frost break like so. And... 5.5 million... Just looking at the amount of, um, of the oil deposits, 5.5 million and 5.5 million. So that's, um, that's quite a lot of oil. Okay, let's 
frost break like so. Let's keep going. Um, by the way, have we now? Yes, we have Frostland teams again. Okay, so let's get that coal. Another stockpile of 50,000, which is great, but it'll take a while until it gets here, until it gets to New London. So, yeah. And we're down to 361 units of coal. And... We're officially out of coal. Great. How are we looking here? Okay, come on, speed up a little. Let's look at... Okay, still frost breaking. Oh, what's this here now? Visions of our future. Diverging ideas. Stuart, everyone in New London is awaiting the moment we get a steady supply of oil. So many fears would vanish, so many dreams made possible. But those dreams seem to be diverging. Faith keepers paint visions of an eternally warm New London, as warm as only the eldest among us remember. But evolvers want us to use this newfound power to reach out and settle remote places on the Frostland, making it our own. Both factions started thinking about how to use oil when it reaches New London. When it does, we will have to decide. Um, yeah, and we will. But why can't we do both? Keep New London as warm and cozy as possible while settling remote places on the Frostland. Or in the Frostland. Um, yeah. Why is this an either-or scenario and not a we can do both? Oh well. Okay, yeah, cold, yeah, we know. But don't you worry, guys, cold is coming in. Um, extremely increased by population size, yes, we know. Mm, and squalor, increased by mechanical factory. Uh huh. Oh well, can't do anything about that. So, ooh, okay, coal is back here. Cool, cool, cool. Or rather, coal, coal, coal. And it has reached New London. Survivalist headquarters has been researched. Very good, very good. Let's um, build that. Can we not build that here? No. Hmm. Can build it here. Or here. Let's build it here. Okay, we have now coal again. Look at how fast this is being used up. Okay, what do you guys want? Leonard Sutton, 23. Horolog horologist? What? What is horologist? What does a horologist do? Huh. Repairing a watch. Oh, so a clockmaker. Imagine a society built on technological advancement, on one-upping inventions, on pushing the boundaries of mechanical knowledge. One day we could not only rebuild automatons, but improve on their design, make ones more suited to our needs, ones that never break down. Oh, even one as small as a watch. I could be living in the city that pioneers these efforts one day. The city has made steps towards the progress cornerstone. Okay. So, this one here. Okay. So, yeah. Sidegeist. Um, right now, we're on our way towards the tradition and 
progress cornerstones. Not so much... Haven't made much headway in equality and merit. But we will, I guess. So, let's um, continue. Let's move on. Maybe pick up the speed. Okay, so... Now this has... Yeah, the survivalist headquarters. And all of a sudden, the highlands are safe. Look at that. Frostland, uh, Frostland dwellers, cores, prefabs. Okay, cool. But we need coal right now. Coal. Do we have coal here? No. The high pass. We have lots of areas where we might find steam cores, but coal? Hmm. Oh, okay, back here. Frozen ocean. Frozen ocean with a coal mine? Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> what do we have here? Nothing. Um, what's, what's this now? Shipping by trail to new lot. Oh, we can, could even choose where we want those materials to go. That's cool, that's cool. Let's uh, send the, those to the old Dreadnought for now. Because um, we don't have any materials production up at the old Dreadnought f right now. Um, however, we do have materials production in here, so... And we're producing a surplus, our stockpiles are almost full. Um, we might think, want to think about... Food stockpile, good stockpile, material stockpile hub. Let's maybe build one of those. Right here, in the middle. Okay. So guys, we were frost breaking here, right? And you have broken the frost. Exactly. Okay, um... Six. Okay. No, we need to frost break more. Um... <laughs> like so. Like so for... Um... For housing districts, right? So what's going on here? In New London. Not much, okay. Um, so, but um, let's see. Highlands, no coal. We have coal here in the mountains. So maybe let's launch an expedition to here. And... See what we can find. Hmm. The coast. Huh. All right, let's keep going. Okay. The material stockpiles hub is online. Increasing our stock from a capacity of 50,000 to 100,000. Great. Um, to this location. Yeah, 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 crime. So, okay. Yeah, we have a cold situation at the old dreadnought. I know. We are aware, people. Let's frost break down here as well. Okay, let's build that extraction district, like so, and another one down here, like so, for the prefabs, 
which we undoubtedly will need. Um, and let's continue frostbreaking down towards, yeah, down here. What now? Population increased. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But where? Here? No. 3,000 still. So, it increased here. Okay, okay. We need more food. And we need more shelter. Which will... Both will increase our heat demand. Like so, and we've increased you to max, you too, so let's increase you, and you, huh. and you, okay, here we are, that's good now, and let's increase workforce here, so that we have enough goods for everyone. Beautiful. Mm hmm. All right, oil production is online. Beautiful. So now let's um, light up that generator. And let's build some housing districts. Hmm. Like so. How many prefabs? 746. Okay. Once the prefab is, um, prefab deposits are depleted, we will break it down and build more housing around the, around this side of the generator. So, oh, what's going on here? Stupid. Lux Eterna. Durable goods. Stuart, a young eccentric inventor brought us a prototype of a lamp generating an almost endless supply of light by storing what he calls solar fluorescence. Look at this, a lamp that never runs out. It doesn't need servicing or replacing. And the power can be redirected to other functions, he said excitedly. He is asking for funding to produce it at a larger scale to benefit all citizens. Should we finance the project? Um, yeah, it sounds great. Why, why wouldn't we? Well, it costs seed stamps, yes. Finance the lamp upgrade. Any move towards more resource efficiency is worth the investment. Durable goods is more effective at decreasing goods demand. Okay, or we say pass on the invention. We won't squander means on youthful idealism that lacks practical application. This will never be brought up again. Hmm, no. Let's uh, fund this um, by how much will... Heat stamps, income per capita is decreased. Okay, well, it doesn't say, but we'll see. So... Lab upgrade investment, minus six. Okay, well, we'll, we can live with that for now. Won't be forever. So, but um, let's get back to the old retinal. Let's see. And let's continue frost breaking down here.
build, 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 build. Okay, we need goods back here, apparently. Do we have enough shelter for everyone now? Looks like it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So those are the materials C getting... Oh. <laughs> we already have a surplus here on materials. Um, let's build a stockpile hub. Right here. Like so. One hour. Colder season. Bugger. How are we doing over here? Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. This is not good. We are burning through our coal deposit. Um, coal stock, I mean. Hmm. Okay, I guess it's time. How much oil do we have now? We don't have a stock, right? Generator. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can we build... No, we need workforce. Why do we need more workforce? What's going on here? Hmm. Um, what's going on here? Is the question. Food remaining, yeah. Oh, because of uh, our stock is full, isn't it? Here at New London? No, it isn't. Oh, we have a hmm, bugger. So this is um, this is new. I mean, um, it, this is a whole new thing. We have to manage both both cities, basically, the dreadnought and New London. This is a whole new level of um, of stress. <laughs> um, let's increase production uh, workforce. I mean. No, 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 let's keep that. This is this is the food district. And let's increase here as well. Mm -hmm. So... We need more. Have we expanded you already? Can we build a... Yeah, we apparently expanded you already. So let's build a another bio waste hothouse down here. Increasing food production. And let's send this food to the old dreadnought. Send resources to old dreadnought. Good. Continue. What is this? Oh, it's like a like an oil pump. Okay. Whew. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's take a break here, and when we come back, we will continue juggling the needs of both New London and the Old Dreadnought. And I just noticed, um, uh, people have finished surveying the Tesla Peak, apparently. So, um, yeah. We will um, look into this as well. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if so, maybe give it a like, share or even subscribe to the channel. And with that out of the way, I hope you have a splendid day. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye.